Hey guys, uh, recently went to Toys R Us and uh, picked up a few Johnny Lightning vehicles. Uh, I'm surprised that I've seen these in the store. So, um, it was kind of a shock, but uh, I paid. I paid a total of sixteen twenty-eight, so four ninety-nine a car. Um, it's about the same price I pay at the hobby shop too. So let's see. First off, we have a 1965 International 1200 pickup truck. Uh, it's a pretty nice casting, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Let's open it up and see it. most likely going to go to the hobby shop see if they got any more of these uh, just because I want to have one box so here's the back of it it's actually a metal metal body plastic base uh, here's the back it says international on there opens up it's about as far as far as it will open down uh, I believe but um plastic wheels which, uh, no, hold up, hold up. That's rubber, never mind. Rubber wheels. So there's the front of the truck. Very nice truck. Here's the other side you have. Um, this is the side you put your gas in. Um, Looks like this wasn't cut out correctly there in the window. Let's see how it looks when that's yeah, wasn't cut out correctly. But um, you can see the little international harvester right there. That symbol here. That's the same one that's on the on the box right there. International harvester. Now let's see if I can get the hood open up oh yep got it open very nice detailed engine in there very nice truck overall I like the color kind of uh, looks like the trucks from back in the day uh, next I picked up uh, was lucky enough to find another Jeep Cherokee for my field paramedic units um, I'm not gonna open this one up until I get a, a, maybe another one Keep one boxed. Uh, there we go. I don't know where to put this. I'm going to just put it there. And the last, I found a 95 Chevy Caprice. Uh, this one, when I saw this, uh, I was like, oh, look, it looks like a Chicago Police Department unit. So um, basically, I picked it up. Let's see on the back. Okay, so these are all from the series. Uh, release number 27. Let's open her up. Not a too big fan of this car. Uh, I just don't like the looks of it. I do, I like the current Caprice. That's a very nice one. Uh, people say it's kind of small and stuff, but honestly, when you look at it compared to a Crown Vic, they're just about the same size. Um,. Just that the uh, the Crown Vic has a bigger um, engine and trunk space, unlike the Caprice, but uh, they're practically the same size. And the Caprice, I think, is a bit taller. So here is this Caprice, the '95. Hood does not open up. It has nice um, rubber wheels. There's underneath the back the front I believe this is one of their older castings for Johnny Lightning uh, but um, it's a pretty nice casting this is gonna go into the police museum since it's like a police car practically the city of Chicago used to have these as their uh, detective units 
uh, growing up, I remember seeing a lot of them, and then they switched over to Crown Vicks, and you saw a lot of the Crown Vicks. Now you see a lot of the Tahoes, uh, majority of the uh, detective cars are Crown Vicks now, or, I mean, not Crown Vicks, they are the um, Tahoes or the Ford Fusions. Um, I also seen a lot of unmarked units, they also had on their cover units that were in this color and a bunch of other colors. Uh, now you just see mostly, like how I said, Tahoes, you have also some, some Crown Vicks that are still in the undercover unit. Um, in the different task force and whatever the city of Chicago has and then um, they have the Ford Fusions uh, I saw a couple of brand new Ford Fusion 2013's driving around they have the new Explorer for unmarked units too I don't know if they're also used for the detectives or not but uh, I know that the, detec the detectives also had you know the Ford Fusions the last um, model and I seen a couple of them with the current one, the newest one. And you know, it's just it's a very nice vehicle that uh the city of Chicago has. I like the Tahoe's, but the new cop cars are also nice. You know, whatever works for them, whatever is cheaper, let them get it. Um one thing that they made the biggest mistake on when they got their Tahoe's was getting two wheel drive. And um, you know, two thousand eleven proved them wrong. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.